Hi, what's up? I'm Justin, and today we're gonna talk about one of the widely known Philippine folk dances, and that is the Tinikling Dance. Tinikling is a traditional Philippine folk dance that has its origins in the Spanish colonial era. This dance is another national folk dance along with Cariñosa. The dance itself consists of two people from opposite sides beating, tapping, and sliding bamboo poles on the ground and against each other. The dancers coordinate with the rhythmic motion of the poles, stepping over and in between the poles as they dance to its beats. The music is usually accompanied by a rondalia, and it is an ensemble of stringed instruments. Tinikling came from the word tikling, and tikling is a local bird here in the country. Its actual name is the Buff Banded Rail, and the phrase tinikling literally translates to to perform like a tikling or to perform like the Buff Banded Rail. This dance mimics the tikling bird's movement as it moves through grass stems, through bamboo poles, and through bamboo traps set by farmers. The dance originated in Leyte, Visayas. This dance is directly inspired by how the ticklings move with grace and skill as they dodge obstacles on the ground. To this day, the tinikling dance has spread throughout the globe and to other countries including USA. Nowadays, as folk dances are also integrated in public education, this dance is performed by students as part of their physical education curriculum and on special occasions too, as people nationwide celebrate Philippine culture. I'm gonna show you a clip from YouTube to show you how Tinikling is done. This video is from the Dancing World channel. In the video, we see a pair of dancers performing over the bamboo area. Their dances are coordinated with how the bamboo moves. And, as we can see, there are also performers on the side clapping to support the beat made by the bamboo poles, striking each other and striking the ground. The dancers wear traditional Filipino clothing in the Spanish era, signifying the dance's origins in that time period. Women usually wear a balintawak or a patadyong, while men wear the barong tagalog in this dance. And it is worth noting that this dance is performed barefoot. It is worth remembering that this is not the only way to perform the tinikling. The dance varies from performer to performer. Usually, uh, the performers wear traditional Filipino clothing, as, uh, as such as I have mentioned earlier, but it is not limited to such as the tinikling dance is open to varieties in terms of its music, in terms of the attire, in terms of the combination of steps, and many more. The dance patterns that are commonly found in this dance are mostly footwork, with the upper body open to a variety of arm movements and techniques. The pattern is done by the pole players. The movement of the poles dictate the movement of the performers. Steps such as front steps, quarter turns, and crossing over are timed perfectly according to the positions of the pole during the beats. This dance makes use of fast movements. If the performers fail to execute the moves properly, it could result to them being hit by or tripping over the bamboo poles. As we see in the earlier dance, they also exhibited dancing away from the poles, but dancing over the poles is the one requirement that this dance needs for the unique execution. One fact about tinikling is that it moves from a moderate pace to a faster pace. Thus, it poses a greater challenge for performers to keep up with the speeding pace. Approaching the last part, that is the fastest part, 
the dancers hold hands and the dance ends when they stop holding hands and move away entirely from the bamboo area, performing a saludo or an ending pose. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for listening throughout the entirety of this video. I hope you learned something and may God bless you.